All right, Shalom. First off, give all praise to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bashem, Rakar Kadash, the bonus to the apostles and elders of GMS, salutes and honors to the elect, all the brothers across the four corners who are enduring, in truth and sincerity, and women and children who follow. So, as you can see, you know, the lesson I'm doing is um about this, this myth that, you know, Satan has his own kingdom. Or that he went to war with the Most High, and that you know it's it's complete bullshit, man. Okay, and we're gonna we're gonna bring the facts out. First thing I want to do is uh, I want to go into the scripture that they try to twist, and you know, give the actual sense of the scripture, and then we're gonna go into you know the backstory. So you know, this is Isaiah fourteen, starting at verse twelve. It says. How art thou fallen from heaven, O Lucifer, son of the morning? How art thou cut down to the ground, which did weaken the nations? So the way that they interpret it is that uh, this Lucifer is talking about Satan. And, you know, he went to war in heaven uh, with, with Michael and the Most High. And basically he was cast down to hell. So that's what they're saying, what it is. Because uh, when you read a little bit more, it says, For thou hast said in thy heart, I will sin in the heaven. I will exalt my throne above the stars of the Most High. I will sit also upon the mount of the congregation in the sides of the north. I will sin above the heights of the clouds. I will be like the Most High. It says, Yet thou uh, shalt be brought down into hell to the sides of the pit. Okay? so that And that's where they stop. So that's that's the sense that they give, but that's not what it is. Cause what it is that Lucifer, which I, we we we're gonna get that real quick. Okay. So Lucifer just means light bearer, shining one, morning star. Okay, it says the king of Babylon and Satan. You know, but you know that's bullshit. All right, you know, the blue letter do go off. But when it says light bearer, that's what it's talking about. And what it's talking about is the the illuminated ones. It's talking about the Illuminati, okay? So basically, uh, it's talking about the so-called white man for uh, to be straightforward, okay? And it says, How's that, how art thou cut uh, down to the ground, which did weaken the nations? How did it weaken the nations? It put, you know, the children of Israel in slavery. You know, it's running the world right now. Of course, Job 9 and 24. Um, the wicked... Let's get that real quick. Uh, Job 9 and 24. The earth is given into the hands of the wicked. He covered the faces of the judges thereof. If not, where and who is he? Okay, if it's not the so-called white man, then where is this person who's uh, running the world? Where is he at? And who is it? All right. It's talking about the so-called white man. All right. It says, for thou hast said in thy heart, I will send into heaven. I was up my throne above the stars of the most high. And they did that. You know, they didn't bend out of space. You know, they, they, um, that's the whole reason why. Uh, Babylon was was forsaken and destroyed, and the, the the language was confounded because you know they they built that tower of Babylon. Okay, it says, "I will sit up also upon the mount of the congregation in the sides of the north." That is talking about the Negroes, Latinos, and uh, Native Americans, and in the sides of the north is talking about here in in North America on the northern hemisphere. It says, I will ascend above the heights of the clouds. I will be like the Most High. And that's what they're doing right now, you know. They're doing all kind of uh, wickedness to, to be like the Most High. They want to put, you know, a chip in you to saying that basically they own you. Not only that, they they uh, make unjust laws, okay. They, they try to control every aspect of your life, okay. Like, like you, they creation. Okay, that's them trying to be like the Most High. It says, yet thou should be brought down to hell, which is talking about uh, the grave. 
okay, or a condition because they are going to go through hell. When we're in power, they're going to be going through hell. This is our hell right now. So, okay, so when we take over, it's going to be their hell to the size of the pit. Okay, it says, and like I said, they stop right there. They don't read verse 16, which says, they that look, they that see thee shall narrowly look upon thee and consider thee, saying, is this the man that made the earth to tremble that did shake kingdoms? Now, how did this man make the earth tremble and shake kingdoms? Because of his his uh, nuclear war, warfare, okay, his, his uh, military might. He dropped the bombs on Hiroshima, Hiroshima and Nagasaki, okay? They did all kind of nuclear testing uh, in the islands and in uh, Russia and all that. It's talking about the so-called white man. <clears throat> and... It says, is this the man that did make the earth to tremble? Satan is a is a spiritual being, okay? He's not a man. He does have a counterpart here, which is the so-called white man, okay? So that's what it's talking about. It says, that made the world as a wilderness and destroyed the cities thereof that opened not the house of, the, of his prisoners, and look look at the amount of prisoners here in America, the biggest uh, prison population in the world. Okay, that's growing. That's talking about the so-called white man. It says, but thou art cast out of thy grave like an abominable branch, a thing most hated by the most high, which that's Esau. And as the raiment of those that are slain thrust through with the sword, who's... What, what, what was Esau's um, blessing? It was the sword. The modern day sword being a gun. Or being a, uh, a nuclear warhead. Or an ancient day of sword. They go down to the stones of the pit as the carcass trodden under feet. Okay? It says, Thou shalt not be burial because thou hast destroyed thy land and slain thy people. The seed of Everdor should never be renowned. Okay, they're always going to be um, looked upon as, you know, the, the scum of the fucking earth. Okay, so it's still talking about them in verse 21. It says, prepare a slaughter for his children. Okay, so if this is still talking about Satan, then we need to be preparing slaughter for the children of Satan. Do you see a, a bunch of little devils flying around on people's shoulders and shit like that? No. It's talking about literally his his physical counterpart here on earth, which is the so-called white man, which they're going to pay for the iniquity of their fathers. Like the verse says, it says, prepare slaughter for his children for the iniquity of their fathers that they do not rise nor possess the land nor fill the face of the world with cities. OK, that's what it's talking about. OK, because um, there's a thing called reincarnation. You are who your father is. Okay, so you you are those same people, you know, three, four generations ago who did those atrocities. That's why uh, you're going to be judged for those atrocities that we were judged for. So now that we know um, what the actual breakdown is, and like I said, we I, I told you what, what their so-called breakdown was, we're going to get the... The history on it. Okay. Because back in the day. There was a book. And it says. Uh, let me see. It was called. The War in Heaven. Paradise Lost. And the Tradition. Of Satan's Rebellion. This is where this bullshit comes from. Okay. Matter of fact. This is like the later version of it. Because when you. Go back to the original book. It's just uh, Paradise Lost. Okay, by John Milton. But, you know, since then they had made uh, more and more books. But I'm going to read this right here. This is from uh, schmop.com. It's just, you know, basically uh, going to uh, characterizations of the different characters or whatnot. Character roles. 
Okay, so this is uh, Satan's character role. In his character analysis, it says, Milton Satan is one of the most dynamic and complicated characters in all of literature. While he possesses an unhealthy thirst for vengeance and havoc, like the little red dude with the pitchfork you're used to seeing, Satan is also the most likable character in the poem. Okay, maybe likable is going a little bit too far, but nearly every reader of the poem has found it difficult to avoid sympathizing with them to some degree, if not completely. For many years, readers of the poem have been divided over the question of whose side Milton was on, Satan's or the Most High's. Slakia says, just bear with us here. Satan is flat out, hands down, without doubt, the best speaker in the poem. He's like the greatest Shakespearean actor you've ever seen, which, you know, all this is fitting his character, you know what I'm saying? Because he'll morph into something that you really want uh, or desire, and, you know, he'll convince you. That's how he got Eve, you know? Uh, and as well as, you know, uh, he tried to uh, entice Yahweh Shai. It says, uh, when he wakes up in hell, chained to a burning lake, how can we not feel a bit sorry for him? Okay, so this is where that bullshit comes from. That he was cast to hell, chained to a burning lake, which that burning lake is going to be America. That's what it, that's what the scriptures is talking about. It's talking about America on fire from thermonuclear destruction. Okay, it says, um, all he really tried to do was overthrow the Most High, which is impossible anyways because we're talking about the Most High here. Uh, yeah, we get that he's the Most High, but when we actually meet the Most High in Book Three, he doesn't even compare to Satan. He comes off as he comes off like some boring, unnamed character, whereas Satan is like an evil Hamlet or Le or Lego or something other ma or or another or any other major character that isn't a talking corpse. Okay, and it talks about a, a speech that he made. He says. A great English poet, Percy Shelley, who idolized Milton, summarized the point well. Nothing can exceed the energy and magnificent magnificence of the character of Satan. Uh, it is a mistake to suppose that he could ever have been intended uh, for the popular personification of evil. Okay, so basically, you know, this damn devil wrote the book and made Satan the, the good guy and made... Uh, the most high, pretty much the bad guy for casting them down. Okay. And subconsciously in your mind, you feel sorry for them. Okay. You, that's, that's the, the, um, the trick that the book plays on you. That's what movies do. That's what all good books do. You know, they, they work with your, they work on your emotions and uh, get you to sway to the side that they want you to, to view it, okay, but this is like I said, pure bullshit, man. Satan works for the Most High, not the other way around, okay. And there was no battle, okay. There was no battle for, for uh, heaven, and there was a war or whatnot, okay. We about to prove that you know, cause it said that he was cast in the hell, chained to the lake of fire. Now if he was cast to the in the hell you know, into the lake of fire, then why is there an account of him talking to the Most High here in Job, the first chapter? So this is Job 1, and I'm going to start at verse 6. It says, Now there was a day when the sons of the Most High came to pr present themselves before the Lord, and Satan, who? Yes, Satan, came also among them. And the Lord said unto Satan, Whence comest thou? Then Satan answered the Lord and said, from going to and fro in the earth. He says it, going to and fro in the earth. Not hell. Okay. And from walking up and down it. It says. And the Lord said unto Satan. Has thou considered my servant Job. That, that there is none like him in the earth. A perfect and upright man. One that feareth the most high. And is sure of evil. Then Satan answered the, uh, the most high. And, and said. Do of Job fear the most high for not. Has thou made a hedge about him and his house and about all that he hath on every side? Thou hast blessed the work of his hands and the substance is his creased in the land. But put forth thy hand now and touch all that he hath and he will curse thee to thy face. So 
This isn't Satan challenging the Most High. This is Satan doing what he's supposed to do. Okay, this is what he was created for. Okay, you have a left hand, you have a right hand. Okay, Yahweh Shai sitting on the right hand of the Most High. He's the, the personification of everything that's righteous, okay, in the spirit world. And Satan is that equal and opposite um, counterpart, okay? He, he, he handles the mischief. Because there's a balance. The most high is 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 a is a balanced power. Let me see if I could find that. Um that's like yeah. Okay, so this is Proverbs 11 and 1. It says, a false balance is abomination to the Most High, but a just weight is his delight. Okay, so it has to be a balance between good and evil. Okay, between right and wrong. And that's that's what that balance is, man. So, you know, Satan doesn't have his own kingdom. He doesn't have his own rulership. Okay, he does what he's told. By the Most High, Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shai, um, the whole concept of hell, you know, and people going there and burning and you know, swimming in the lake of fire, or you know, being uh, poked with a pitchfork or whatever it is, whatever people's um, thought of hell is, it's complete bullshit, man. The Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans are in hell now. And we 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 about done with this hell, okay? We about to get the kingdom. We about to be in our heaven, and the tables are gonna be turned. This fucking Edomite's gonna be in hell, which is his slavery, which is everything that we've gone through. He's gonna get double unto double according to his works. And with that being said, I hope you brothers are edified. You know we give all praise to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai by Hashem, Rakar Kadash, double honest to the apostles and elders of GMS. Salutes and honors to the elect, all the brothers across the four corners who are enduring, and truth and sincerity in the women and children who follow. Shalom.